All right, YouTube, it is Mr. Mean coming at you this fine Friday afternoon. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm fighting some sort of crud, so I apologize. Um, I don't know, it's, it's going around uh, upset tummy, uh, you know, can't keep much down and uh, getting dizzy, although the dizziness seems to have gone. So, but today's video du jour is a treat. I was expecting this in the mail. I forgot it was coming and it showed up. I've already taken it out of the box, so it's not a true unboxing, but do you really want to watch me pull stuff out of a box? Kickstarter reward. What's old is new. Role-playing system in the box. Still shrink wrap. There's the back. Contrary to belief, everyone seems to have the opinion that Mr. Mean does not like D6 systems. I do like D6 systems when they're done well and they make sense. This is done well and it makes sense. I'm going to try not to stab myself in the face. Uh, I'm going to move my keyboard here so we can open this up. <clears throat> Pardon my thing. Uh, it is shrink wrapped. It came in a nice big box. It was a little bit overkill, but I get it. And it was uh, had a bunch of bubble wrap around it. So it was very well uh, shrink wrapped. Um, I kind of like the cover. Hopefully you can see it there without too much glare. Starter box. And then what's on the back. I will be running this on the channel. This is one of those systems that I do like. Um, I have, uh, and you can, I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, you can see the white boxes down there. Um, right there, what's old is new. Um, that is the what's old is new, new. Um, and then the old, which is the fantasy type setting, and then the new is your sci-fi. Uh, there's a now as well, which I did have. I, I sold it um, because I'm just not into modern play. Um, for those that don't know, I do suffer a little PTSD from my days in Desert Storm, Desert Shield. And for whatever reason, like modern warfare, it just triggers it. I, I, I can't explain it. Um, I don't know why, but like sci-fi, lasers, you know, you could have the same guy decked out in, in, you know, in camo, uh, and as long as he's not carrying a, a, an AR or a M16 or you know a modern day weapon, if it's a vaguely sci-fi looking weapon, doesn't bother me a bit. It, I don't understand it either, but uh, I've learned through the years to not question it and not fight with it and just deal with it. So we're going to go ahead and open this, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, I don't know how low my camera will go. Oh, it will go that low. Let me, I should have set this up beforehand. Get it. Let's get it. And then let's pull this out. I can adjust this. I have this fully articulated arm. Get my big fat wrist out of the way. Maybe we'll do, let's see if we can do it like that. Let me move my Nutter Butter Peanut Butter Sandwich Cookies and my Kickstart. That's my Mountain Dew Kickstart. It's my drink of choice. If you want to be kind, you can send Mr. Mean a uh, Mountain Dew Kickstart. Oh, that's knife safety. Let's put our knife away. Uh, let's see. How's that looking? Can I get it a little more even? Try to get it. There we go. We'll just leave it like that. Alrighty, so here's the box contents. You know, I'm going to turn it around like that so you guys can see it. So do it like that. So that's the box. Nothing on the inside of the box. Ooh, we've got some dice. Uh, are they special? It doesn't look like it. Let's see. All right, so we got two, four, six, eight. We got eight dice. Nope, they're just standard, nice uh, beveled edges. Um, I'll tell you, this HD 1020 camera Logitech, this thing's been a bomb. I've had this thing for years. My good friend Nubby, uh, Mike Wilster, sent me another one. Uh, it's over on the other table. I'm going to be using that for my um, recording my painting videos, which is going to start. My new, my new desk came in. So I'm trying to get it uh, set up. I'm just not feeling too hot, so I didn't want to lug it in the house. But I'm going to have to go get it. <clears throat> All right. So in this, oh, this is pretty cool. 
a bunch of pogs. Now, I can't remember if this was going to have full VTT support or not. Um, and we're just going to take these out of this. I'm not going to keep that. Alrighty. So, as you can see, some nice, uh, looks like an ogre. There's all kinds of critters, a raccoon. That's kind of cool. Maybe a familiar. Um, and again, there's everything, a little bit of everything in here because... What's, what's old is new uh, is all three genres. So we've got sci-fi, we've got modern day, and then we have fantasy. So you're going to see a little bit of everything in here. And the pogs are double-sided. I would have given a little more kudos if they'd have been front and back, uh, like Skinny Minis or Ark Knight. Um, but these are still usable. Um, pretty nice. So we'll set those off to the side. Um, hopefully everybody got a good look at them. Hold them up a little closer. There. I know the glare is kind of off. But yeah, kind of cool looking. Uh, all right, we're going to put that like that so you guys can see it. Dilemma and Decay. Uh, what's old is new. Role-playing system. So very cool. Let's see what's on the back. Oh, just some more blurbs. I believe there's three different scenarios in here. <coughs> um, one for each setting. You know, sci-fi, modern, and uh, fantasy, or I mean, uh, yeah, fantasy, modern, sci-fi. Uh, habits and happenstance. Habits and happenstance. This looks like our modern setting. Uh, this might be like vampires and stuff, judging by the church and bullets. And then here's our sci-fi: the silence of Zephion, Zephadon Station. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. And of course, there's a little blurb on the back. So I'm not going to flip through these too much, but you can see it's nice quality. They're just softbacks. Uh, stitched or um, stapled two staples in the middle there so these are not going to hold up to a lot of rigorous play um, but they should serve you well uh, we have a soft back book which is all of our uh, this is the role playing system uh, so as you can see pretty nice there uh, flip through it and it's I do have the PDF, so I did take a look at this, and I was pretty impressed with it. Um, I do like, so this is their new format for, like, NPC cards. I'll hold that up so you can see it. Kind of tilt it. Let me see which way. There we go. So you can kind of see that. Um, <clears throat> and um, it's really well done. Hopefully they're in here. But you can see, ooh, there's a nice big mech. Sentry droid. <laughs> skeleton so all kinds of like npcs and everything in here that you should need to play the game for any of the three genres so i, I would like to do a little poll and see what you guys would like to see played on the channel would you whether fantasy uh or sci-fi i'm not going to do modern because like i said i have no interest in modern whatsoever um so here is two maps uh, standard one inch grid. Uh, I'm not going to unfold them all the way. You guys know what maps look like. They're double sided. Okay, maybe I will unfold it all the way. Yeah, so just a plain gray grid on one side, and then this looks like this would be our sci fi map. Looks pretty snazzy. And then this is going to be our fantasy, probably modern. Oh, there's three maps. So here's our modern. You can see there's some containers, a forklift. Yeah, and probably on the back side, it's going to be gray. Oh, no, it's double sided. So cool. Um, these will be wor very useful for sure. Um, yeah, there you go. There's a so container. And this should be the fantasy map. This has got big hexes on it. I'm a big fan of hex crawls. Oh, and then it's square on the other side. Square gridded on one side, hex grid. So this will be your larger map. You can see that hopefully. Be your, your larger map. And then, of course, you'd go detailed to the the square map. So now, last but not least, we have another, and this is all the NPC, or not NPCs, this is probably all of the player characters and write up some character sheets. Uh, again, we're not keeping the plastic. So let's see, we're going to move the box. So let's put these like this so we can see them. So you can see them. So we've got Sasha Blot. Blotnikov, Blotnikov. So it's got all of her stats, and you can see it right there. All of her stats, and it's blank on the other side. So we've got Sasha, we've got Garat, 
Looks like an orc. This is probably our sci-fi, judging by the weapon. We have Dr. TikTok. Now, these should be all the Iconics that were in the original games. Um, <clears throat> Ash, Ash, Ashan. Um, looks like a, a knight of some kind. Star Knight. Yeah, that's what it is. So, yeah, that's it's been a minute since I've run this. I run this, I think, twice on the channel. Both times I really enjoyed it. The first time I used it with Foundry... We played about three or four sessions. I think we played three sessions, and then the group fell apart. That's the downside of Foundry and being on the Internet. If people aren't wholly invested or they, they're not having as good of a time as they want, they'll just ghost you. Um, instead of saying, you know, hey, look, this is not for me, they just ghost you. So and that's what happened. Like <clears throat> two out of the four players ghost us, and the, the other two players wanted to keep playing, but we didn't have enough enough. Uh, groups. Talek, uh, again, another sci-fi character. Holmes, I think that's probably a sci-fi or a, uh, he's a psychic. This is probably the modern guy. Exploits and traits is really cool. Ben Majors, uh, mod another uh, modern. Alejandra Van Sitas, another modern. Uh, Duke Roosevelt, another modern, or now, I should say. Eternal Senpai, uh, this is probably the fantasy. And again, yeah, nothing on the back of these. But I like the stat block. I like how they do that. I would have liked to have seen these, because we got these as PDFs in the game, uh, in the pre-DF when, when the Kickstarter succeeded. Um, I would have liked to have seen these as the cards that are done in the P. When you got the PDF, some of the NPC cards, it's just this card. And I feel like they could have put all of this on one side and then all of this on the back side of the card. I would have liked to have seen that and maybe make them a heavy uh, gauge paper or laminated or, or just you know like a plastic type paper uh, laminated or, or just a heavy card I think would have been a real... That would have been a piece de la resistance, as they say. Mac Marlow, another uh, now. Uh, ooh, uh, Gimnor, obviously Fantasy Dwarf. Fantasy Elf. Selena, Fantasy... I think it's a human. Does it say? Yeah, yeah it doesn't say right off the bat without reading everything. But what's nice is... I have all these as PDF, so if we play it on Theater of the Mind, which is typically how I like to play, Foundry is a wonderful VTT, and I really do like it, but the problem is, if it's not supported like D&D &D or Pathfinder, you just run into issues. Uh, I've, I've ranted about this before with the Castles and Crusades uh, Foundry module. It was just... It got to be more trouble than it was worth. Every time I tried to do something, it didn't work. Everything was updated. Then I'd get everything working. And then, of course, I'd update and everything would break again. So it was just because it's all community, you know, sponsored and, and led. It's not it wasn't a pay for, you know, uh, module or anything like that. So the Pathfinder and the D&D, &D, they're really well done. I think the Call of Cthulhu one is done really good. The Warhammer Fantasy role play is done really well. Um, but they're, I know the fan, Warhammer Fantasy one is very complex, and I just don't want to work that hard in my role-playing. I mean, I work all day. I don't want to come home and work for my hobby. I want my hobby to be fun. So until they streamline the process a little better or make it a little easier to use, um, I'm going to stick with Theater of the Mind and just using, you know, images and things like that so but these are really good because then i, I have all this uh, all these assets as a pdf and i can just give it to the player and they've got their character now it doesn't stop you from rolling up a character i was a little miffed that i don't see uh croot i don't see a pre or a, a blank character sheet now i know you can download it from their website so that part is cool um so that's the contents of the box nothing really uh, to write home about, it's very nice. Uh, I actually want to put the characters above the uh, maps. I do like the maps. Uh, I've been threatening, and I keep saying this, and I haven't done it. I need to go buy a, a clear sheet of plexiglass or acetate that I can lay out over these maps. And then I think these are probably got enough of a coating on them that you could dry erase. I don't know that for sure, so please don't quote me. I don't want you to write on your thing, oh, Mr. Mean said you could. Uh, don't quote me. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I do like the pre-done character sheets. I think those are, are really nice, as you can see. Um, those are going to come in pretty handy, I think, for people, and they're going to enjoy it. 
Um, so yeah, pretty happy with everything, to say the least. I do wish the, you know, it's kind of like the Dragon Bane box set. I love the Dragon Bane box set, but the problem is it's all like this. It's all softback. I think it, after rigorous play, it's going to start falling apart. Now, that being said, how many times are you going to run these adventurers? These adventures. There's three of them, one for each setting, uh, fantasy, now, and future. Um, so that being said, plus, argument's sake, I have them as a PDF. I could print them out myself uh, or print the relevant parts that I need to run the adventure and leave the rest in the book. I do like the book. It does go through telling you how to create a character. It gives you all the rules you need to play. Um, I do recommend that you go, and if this is something that sparks you, if you like what you see here, I would recommend you, recommend you to go to Ian Publishing's website. I'll put a link in the doobly-doo, and go pick up their full version of their games, which I'll pull out new, right? Or old. Uh, this is 1.2, and I believe they're up to 1.3, or... Um, it's 2.0. I can't remember. I think it's 1.3. Uh, you can see, this is a pretty chunky book. I've done a review of this in the past. What I like about the fantasy, and if I run it, I'm going to run fantasy, because you can make your own spells in this. There are some spells in here, but you can run... Magic is... You're, you're fully in control of your character. I love, love, love the character creation process in this. It's a bunch of picks. It's almost like uh, Mutant Chronicles or even... Um, I'm trying to think of other games that do it. Mutant Chronicles is the for us cyberpunk, uh, the original cyberpunk Friday Night Firefight, where you go through and you make a bunch of random rolls and it tells you what you've done. Um, I really like that. It really gives me a feel for my character. I understand where he's coming from, uh, you know, or whatever. I like the dice. I have some pretty cool sci-fi dice that I would use, uh, but I also have some cool uh, fantasy D6 dice. So, but I would probably use those. Um, I have a lovely dice tray and everything. Overall, I want to say this was $25. I don't remember the exact cost. I'm going to try not to freak anybody out here, but I'm going to switch the camera back to pointing up. All right, I've locked it in place, so it shouldn't roll on me. Overall, I'm pretty happy. Ooh, let me. There we go. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the quality of this. Uh, I hope you like the unboxing. Hopefully, it gives you an idea. I don't know if this is going to be available for retail. I am not quite sure. I, th I would hope that it is because I think this is phenomenal for new role players. You've got everything in here you need to get started with a, sy a system that's pretty robust and really easy to use. Uh, and like I said, character creation in this is phenomenal. It's a lot of fun. Um, and the nice part is once you've learned one of these games, you know them all because they all use the same mechanics. There's a couple things that are a little bit different here and there, but for the most part, 99% compatible with each other. So you could have elves in space if you wanted to. You could totally do that. But this is um, a really well laid out book. Um, you know, I highly recommend if you don't have it, uh, go back in the archives, look at my review of what's old is new, old. Fantasy Heroic Role-Playing Game uh, by Russ Morrissey. Um, it's pretty well supported. There's a number of uh, very inexpensive PDFs that you can buy off of Ian World's uh, publishing website. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, I'll put a link in the doobly-doo. <clears throat> but I'm, I'm really impressed, guys. Uh, I think for what I paid, I, I want to say this was $25. Maybe it was $30, but it's pretty chunky. There's some weight in here. Uh, the dice are nice. I, I love it. You know, you could do powered armor in this. You could do Evangelion. Um, you could do, um, you know, any fantasy game you wanted. Uh, Lord of the Rings. You could even do D&D &D if you like, you know, say you're Forgotten Realms guy you, or Dragonlance. You could use those settings in here. You've got everything in here you need. Um, and like I said, the only thing I wish is I wish those NPCs would have came on just a heavy card with a blurb on the back and then their stats on the front. I love that layout. I think it looks really cool and it would be very handy to have that at the table instead of flipping through a book to find the NPCs you need. Of course, I could, you know, with a little creative, you know, paper cutting and everything, I could make those myself and laminate them. And I may, I may very well do that because I do kind of like that idea. But yeah, uh, what's old is new role-playing system. It's a D6 dice pool system. Uh, you make your character, your stats don't matter after character creation. Your stats, 
the physical numbers are just there to give you what your dice pool is. So a set of numbers equates to X amount of D6. And then you roll up your dice. I, I don't gonna, I'm not going to go over the system. Uh, I've done that in previous videos, so go back and check those out. But this was just an unboxing to show you how cool. And if it's something that you might want on your radar, um, you know, I think it's well worth it for $25, $30. Bucks. Let's see, is there a price on here? No, it doesn't say. Printed in China. Um, welcome. To... Yeah, it doesn't say. Uh, let's, let's read the back here. The starter box for the What's Old is New role-playing game system contains everything you need to start playing heroic fantasy, explosive modern action, and futuristic sci-fi adventure. With three introductory adventures, pre-made characters, tokens, poster maps, dice, and a full rule book, you'll be up and playing in no time at all. Discover what's old as new rules, such as attribute checks, combat, magic, magic, psionics, key, a selection of equipment from each genre, and nearly 40 monsters and foes. Adventure into fantasy with Dilemma and Decay, Fight vampires in habits and habitstance, and investigate a distress signal in the silence of Zephadon Station. Each adventure demonstrates a different genre of play, and each comes with six pre-made characters, the Grey Fellowship, the Alpha Squad, and the crew of the Starship Mur Murphy. Welcome to What's Old is New. Um, I love the dragon on the back <laughs> reading a book. Um, and again, this is by Ian Publishing. This was a Kickstarter um, last year, and I obviously backed it, um, and I got the box. So very happy with it. Love the dice. Love the punch outs. Would have liked them to be you know, front and back, but they're only front and front. So you flip it over, it's the same. It doesn't matter which way you put the token. It'll be the same on either side. Um, that's about my only critique, uh, the tokens. And I wish the NPCs came on like a card, a card block instead of how they are. But that being said for $25, $35, however much this costs, I don't remember if, if you back the Kickstarter and you remember how much just the basic box with PDF was drop it in the comments there. I'd love, I'd love to know. I could go back and look on Kickstarter, but like I said, I'm not feeling too hot, so I'm going to go lay down. Uh, but I wanted to get this out because I, I should have done it yesterday, but I, I wasn't feeling too hot. And so I didn't go and get it once I got home from work. I just kind of was a vegetable on the couch. So, but I've got my chores done for today and uh, I'm going to lay down and relax. Um, I hope you all are doing well. As always, like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. Hit that thumbs up button or the thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Um, Please leave a comment. The YouTube loves to feed that algorithm, and it really helps get these videos out in front of more people by interacting with the channel. So hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps. Uh, and then Patreon, $5 a month. Uh, Ko-Fi, if you want to just support me one time, send me a cup of coffee or you know whatever. I, I, I had to buy a new desk for my paint station, so if that's something you're interested to and you want to donate to that, feel free. I, I won't say no one. I really appreciate it. A desk cost me 200 bucks, but it's a real nice desk. I'm going to put it up. It's a sit-to-stand, so I'll be able to lower that. We have a very active Discord where I think I am going to be playing What's Old is New on the Discord. So, um, <clears throat> And I think what I might do... What I might do, I haven't decided yet, but what I might do is do a giveaway for the modern rules because I really have no interest in the modern rules. So I might, I might give that modern adventure um, and uh, away as a as a, uh, a gift to my Patreon members. So if that's something that interests you, hit me up on the Patreons. It's five dollars a month. Get you a unique designator on uh, Discord, and of course, gets you access to our Discord where we do a lot of cool stuff. So, as always, peace and hair grease. Like and subscribe. Remember, Mr. Means says to always, always be nice.